Lorenzo was only six years old when his parents, Augusto and Michela Odone, took him to the hospital because he was stumbling, becoming bad tempered, and not feeling well. After a few tests, the doctors diagnosed him with a rare disease called adrenoleukodystrophy. And according to the doctors, there was no cure for the disease, so this meant that little Lorenzo was going to continue to lose his balance, go blind and deaf gradually until he would finally die of aspiration. Little Lorenzo only had only two more years to leave. After consultations with several doctors and specialists, Augusto and Michela were left with the same devastating answer that always echoed, no cure for the disease, so it meant little Lorenzo was going to die. At that point, Augusto knew that he wasn't ready to take no for an answer he was determined to fight for the life of his son, no matter what it took. He finally embarked on a journey to research everything he could about the disease so that he could come up with a treatment for his little Lorenzo before his two years timeline expired. However, there was a challenge. Augusto only had a high school level understanding of science and medicine, which means he had to begin his research from scratch and bring it to an end before the end of the two years if he wanted his son to leave. What do you think? Would he or would he not be able to achieve the one thing professionals had spent years researching with no possible solution as at the time of the incident? Hold on, you're about to find out. Let's go back to you. Have you ever had someone tell you that what you want to achieve is impossible? Well, in this video, I'll share with you how to prove people wrong and do the impossible. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Let me say this first. Virtually nothing is impossible as long as you put your mind to it. Perhaps we should define impossibility. According to lexical definition of the word impossible, it means not able to occur, exist or be done. To say something is impossible is to say that it can never exist. Imagine you were present in the era of Wright brothers, the men who created the first aeroplane. Before that time, would you have thought that anything or anyone can be transported from location to location via air? I bet you wouldn't. If anyone had dared to mention it, you would have laughed at them because to you, it was impossible. Robert Schuller, an American pastor, motivational speaker, and author said that, the only place where your dream becomes impossible is in your own thinking. Also, according to Vince Lombardi, an American football player and coach, we would accomplish many more things if we did not think of them as impossible. So the first thing to do when people tell you that your dreams are impossible to achieve is to get rid of the mentality and accept that you can accomplish anything you want as long as you believe that you can. Christopher Reeve, an American actor, writer, and director said, So many of our dreams at first seem impossible, then they seem improbable, and then when we summon the will, they soon become inevitable. Little Lorenzo's dad, Augusto, had the task of learning science and medicine from the scratch and also coming up with a cure for Lorenzo's disease in less than two years. Meanwhile, researchers and other specialists said it was impossible because they had been researching for years and still hadn't come up with a reasonable solution. They thought, how can a complete amateur in medicine develop a cure to a complex neurological disease that expert has been studying for decades? Against all the odds, however, Augusto pushed hard. During the day, he worked at World Bank and at night, he scored research papers and medical journals from the National Institute of Health. After months of long research, he finally got an insight from an unlikely source. Augusto figured out that the oils he used to make spaghetti carbonaro can soak up the harmful acids before it hurts Lorenzo's nervous system. Of course, once again, the medical researchers thought it was a crazy idea, but guess what? It worked. 
Although he didn't kill Lorenzo, it halted the process enough to provide him another additional 20 years until his death, which was as a result of an accident, not the disease. However, it took the doctors another 21 years to finally prove that the treatment works. Today, Lorenzo's oil, named after little Lorenzo, has saved a lot of people all over the world. What if Augusto accepted what people said and didn't fight for the life of his boy? You see, the best response to people saying that your dreams can't be achieved is to prove them wrong and show them that impossibility is not a word that exists in your world. Once you've changed your mind and accept that nothing is impossible to achieve as long as you put your mind to it, what should you do next? Commit to it. Commitment, as defined as lexical dictionary, is the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause, activity, etc. Commitment is more than just trying to do something. It is a burning desire or drive that keeps you moving even when failure is evident. Commitment is what pushes you to achieve a particular cause because living without it seems pointless. According to Kenneth Blanchard, an American author, there is a difference between interest and commitment. When you are interested in doing something, you do it only when it's convenient. When you are committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. Vince Lombardi also said that the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. To achieve the impossible and prove people wrong, you have to be willing to commit to doing something, not commit to trying. When you commit to trying something, it means that you will give it your best, but if your best doesn't work out, perhaps it wasn't supposed to be. It's okay to be scared at first because it is something that you've never done and you don't know how to achieve it. You don't know what it will cost to do it and you're also scared of failure. However, when you commit to doing a thing, yes, obstacles and doubts will arise, but because you don't see the point of living without it, you will eventually achieve your dreams. So, when people tell you your dreams are impossible, one, change the impossibility mindset to the possibility mindset. Two, commit yourself to do it. Three, Use them as a motivation to achieve your goals every time you get stuck. Good luck, friends. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.